Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. I am in court today. I just had a tasty lunch of Carl's Jr. The Western Bacon Double Cheeseburger is my go-to, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, it doesn't have any mayonnaise in it. You can like mayonnaise, that's fine. My wife makes uh, homemade mayonnaise out of actual eggs and not soybean oil or whatever the hell they make mayonnaise out of. Her mayonnaise is delicious. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of mayonnaise otherwise. But the uh, Western Bacon Double Cheeseburger is the perfect burger for an attorney because it's not very saucy, which means it doesn't drip everywhere, which means you can eat it in your car and it still is delicious and uh, lots of meat. I'm a big fan of meat. I'm a meat eater. I'm a carnivore. Good burger. It's a real good burger. That and a uh, large Diet Dr. Pepper with light ice. It's like 14 bucks and change, but uh, it'll do ya. It'll do ya. You'll stay, uh, you'll stay satiated long into the evening. So if you're working late, seven, eight o'clock at night, you're still not dying. So, uh, some attorney named Darcy, Darcy, I don't really have an opinion on him. I, I do know a few things that, eh, I mean, I am, I am very judgy. I'm a judgy kind of guy. And here, here's some judgy things. Number one, uh, he offered in my comment section to debate and he laid out his list of, uh, shitty fucking accomplishments that I don't really give a shit about. I, I'm not, I'm not that kind of attorney who, who, thinks or cares much about those, I care about your legal arguments. Now, I haven't seen any of his, and I don't know. Uh, there was one video he put out, like, two hours or something like that, after there was a judgment in uh, Chili's case, and uh, I did laugh at that. I guffawed. I uh, put up a community post. Someone brought to my attention that he had posted it, and I, I looked at the timestamps on it, and I found it fucking hilarious. I don't know why people think that I give two shits about what some other attorney says. Like I, I am a big boy and first year family law attorneys are very, very capable of reading the law and making, uh, conclusions about what the law means all on their own without having to look to what another attorney says. In other words, I really don't give a shit about what another attorney says, but that's neither here or there. I am told that this uh, this attorney, R.C., uh, likes Colin of Project Constitution. And if you don't, and trusts what Colin of Project Constitution says about Chile. And uh, if so, that very much, I mean, I'm not saying that he does or doesn't. These are things I'm told. People tell me little things. Birds talk. Again, I haven't watched him. I don't know. Let me rephrase that. I've watched one video of his. One video. Well, I watched one video of his. I watched like 10 seconds of the other video. So I don't know if he trusts Colin or not. But if if you can't read people well enough to know that Colin is a lying, slimy piece of shit who deserves to be homeless and pissing in a jug, then I don't know what to say about you. You're the same kind of person, probably, that thought that uh, Welsh News Network was a good person or uh, Frauded or Wrangler was a good person. You probably still think that Frauded or Troll was a good person. I mean, that guy's a fucking piece of shit, too. If you can't tell it, I don't know what to do for you. But I did watch uh, RC's video today, and again, he offers to... Uh, he wants to make sure everybody knows that he wants to... Uh, moderate or be the neutral and he's willing to do it for five thousand dollars that he'll donate to charity and i'm sure he'll show you his tax returns so that you can verify it he's still getting uh he's still getting views out of it he's still getting uh advertisement out of it i mean he wants to he wants to do the oral arguments on his channel live stream woo <sighs> I 
This video today was monetized. Yeah, I just, I just, I'm just, you know, I don't give a shit about whether or not you're donating the money to charity. If, if you're an attorney and you're on YouTube to promote your law practice or to generate YouTube revenue, uh, eh, eh, got, got no use for you. I, you know, I, People can figure out who I am. I don't make, I don't hide who I am. Although Eline's too fucking stupid to figure out who I am. Apparently he thinks I'm practicing law in Pennsylvania, but I'm not here to shill my law practice. I'm not here to, I don't monetize my videos. I don't make any money off this. I do this to educate you. This is a little bit of me going pro boner on you. You know what I'm saying? This is me giving back. This is me. This is this is my gift to the community that I've been involved in for a long time since before I was even licensed to practice law. But I thought I made it clear. The final thing that uh, troubles me about the RC is I'm pretty sure I made it clear. I'm looking for a retired judge. Not a practicing attorney, certainly not somebody that Eline could just dismiss and say, he's just, he's already, this guy uh, is already anti chili. This guy is already, he even said in his video, uh, Darcy said that he was a uh, practicing, I think he was a prosecutor or something like that, and he's never seen anybody charged in California with the crime of soliciting the crime of trespass. No shit. No shit. Eli's never going to take you, dude. You're already biased. Dummy. Dummy. So the whole point of this, the whole point of this, and I want to make it clear that I have not retracted my offer. My offer still stands that Eli, I will, I will do this with you through a neutral in California, Nevada, or Texas, through a neutral, I get to pick three. One of them, they're, they're going to be retired judges. You get to pick one of the three retired judges that I put forward in whatever state you choose. The amount of money is, is whatever you want to put in. Uh, I would prefer it that the, that the uh, winner doesn't pay anything, but I mean, I'm willing to do whatever to get it in front of a retired judge so the people can say, this guy knows what the hell he's talking about, or this gal knows what the hell she's talking about. Retired judge understands the law, knows how to apply it. And so there's no question about, oh, this is just the opinion of another attorney. Because who the fuck cares about, why would I care about RC's opinion? I'm an attorney. He's an attorney. I, I fucking argue with attorneys all day long. T today, I'm going to walk my ass back up into that courtroom and argue with another fucking attorney. Eline argues with attorneys all day long. No one gives a shit about another attorney's opinion. If two attorneys disagree, the appropriate place to take it is to a fucking judge. Not a goddamn attorney. I don't even, I don't even like doing uh, mediations in front of other attorneys. I always go for a retired judge. They have a gravitas to them. They're not, they're, they don't have to like, uh, puff up their chest and say, I was super lawyer. I was nominated. I paid for this award to be super lawyer, top prosecutor. Bah! No one gives a shit, dude. The only people who give a shit about that are fucking people who aren't attorneys. <laughs> no one gives a shit. No one, no other attorney that I know gives a shit. Yeah, they'll pay for those dumb, dumb things so they can put them on their fucking websites and shit so they can impress rubes. So people come in and think, oh, I'm getting a really good attorney. I'll pay more for this guy. He was nominated top top lawyer, top litigator of 2024. Not realizing that everybody else who paid for that also is top litigator of 2024. Nominated by Lawyer Magazine. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway. Duh. RC already knows who's right, at least as far as California law. If he took 10 minutes to look up Texas law or 10 minutes to look up Nevada revised statutes, he'd realize I'm right there too. It's all black and white, dude. And that's why Eline is never going to take me up on it because he knows if he gets in front of a retired judge, a retired judge is going to be like, bro, you're dumb and you're wrong. Well, 
a retired judge will say it very judge-like. You know, I'm not a judge, so I just say you're dumb and you're wrong. But a judge, a judge manages, generally speaking, to uh, tell you you're dumb and wrong very politely. In fact, so politely, you don't really realize he's telling you you're dumb and you're wrong, uh, but you realize that he's ruling against you. So, yeah, so Elon, Elon's never going to do it because he knows he's dumb and he's wrong. And he knows a judge is going to uh, rule against him in any of the three states. He knows that. He knows that. He knows I know he knows that. Darcy knows that. Anybody, any attorney who's looked at it like seriously and like looked up the statutes in any of those three states knows it. Eline, Eline is, Eline, like all the other shitty attorneys, is doing this on YouTube to make the YouTube dollars. He's doing this to uh, try to promote business. He wants to be the new civil rights attorney. He wants to grab all of Chili's uh, fans who are going to go out there and start shit with the cops. Because every once in a while, you know, maybe 20% of the time, maybe 25, maybe 30% of the time, the cops actually do fuck up. And there is, there is enough there that you'll get a settlement, you know? So that's what he's hoping for. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. That's why, that's why he does this shit he does. He slaps his name all over it. He, he says, like, I know, I know Eli knows that he fucked up. I know he knows. That's why he hasn't taken my offer. If he actually thought that he was fucking right, he'd be like, yeah, bro, 10 grand, whatever. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to be 10 grand richer is what he'd be saying to himself. He ain't going to do it. And how humiliating is this? Eline is all ego. Well, all fragile ego, right? And he holds himself out to be a tur uh, Chili's attorney. Bro, what fucking case are you Chili's attorney in? Chili has, Chili has a case in California State Court, in the Superior Court for L.A., right in your backyard, bro. He, he didn't hire you to represent him on that. You haven't appeared in that. You ain't his attorney. You certainly ain't his attorney in Nevada. You ain't his attorney on any of his federal lawsuits. What the fuck are you talking about? Even Chili knows your knows that you are not good enough. You you are underwhelming, Mr. Eline. Chili, by his actions, shows that Chili doesn't think you're good enough. I'm Chili DeCastro's attorney. He actually hasn't paid me to represent him in any actions, but I'm his attorney. He 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 lets me go on his channel and uh, generate revenue for him. I'm Chili's attorney. Fucking stupid. Too many, too many, too many people playing too many fuck fuck games. I'll tell you that. Anyway, let me go back in, finish up my trial. Yay! Put my monkey suit back on. It's way too hot for monkey suits. All right. So, uh, Michael Eline, just so that you and I are clear, uh, Mr. Darcy, just so you and I are clear, thanks, but your services won't be needed at this time. And Eline, so, so you and I are clear, my offer still stands. Anywhere from free, uh, we each just pay half of the, the uh, neutral bill, or up to 20 grand each. You let me know. You let me know. Not backing down on that. And uh, your... Silence is deafening. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.